Hello guys, this is Thomas from Hotkey404 and today I'll show you how to install Asterisk 20 on Rocky Time. Depending on when you watch this video, CentOS is approaching its end of life or is already dead. So today I'll show you how to install Asterisk 20 on Rocky 9 and also I'll show you at the end of this video how to avoid some issues with make config command. So stay tuned and let's get started. First we will update our system with dnf-y update and dnf is a successor to yum so if you're used to using yum you can still execute yum install and so on uh, since this is a successor and uh, probably in upcoming years everyone will switch to DNF, we'll use DNF in our tutorial. Once the update is finished, we will install some additional packages with DNF, install and wget, tar, nano, apple release, check config and lib edit development package, which are required for the specific OS. Now, if you already subscribed to this channel, you probably know that on all Red Hat based systems, you should disable this built in firewall uh, SE Linux. With SE status, you will see that it's currently enabled. So we'll edit etc sysconfig SE Linux, and inside, uh, we'll change enforcing to disabled. Now, we don't want to reboot the system for this change uh, to be applied, so we'll just use set enforce 0 to temporarily change status from enforcing to permissive. Now we'll go to USR SRC directory, and here we will download current version of asterisk 20. And of course, you can check the description and inside the description you'll see the link to our website and all of those commands are nicely explained there. After downloading we will untar our file with tar-zxvf, the name of our package of course, and then uh, after unpacking remove unnecessary file and finally continue to this newly downloaded or and unpacked directory with cd. Here, as you can see, we have plenty of different directories. We have configs, we have REST API templates and so on, but we will use one specific file, which is contrib scripts, and then install prereq for prerequisites and install. And this will download all necessary files for our compilation to complete. Now you can run just dot slash configure command or provide some additional parameters like libdir, pg project bundle, Janson bundled. It's not necessary, you can just stick with basic configure command. When this nice asterisk logo appears, it means that it's time to execute make menu select. And if you check our channel, you'll probably notice that uh, this, for example, Chat Mobile can be used to connect your phone or your headset to Asterisk via Bluetooth, so you might be interested in those videos. Also, if you go to channel drivers, there is an interesting thing that this Chan SIP channel is by default unchecked, so it will not be installed because it's deprecated. So if for some reason you still want to use this older channel, you just remember to check this here. After we save and exit, it's time to execute make and make install to compile all those libraries and packages and so on. Probably this will take a few minutes, so in the meantime, I encourage you to check voipro.com and voipro is our newly released SaaS software that allows you to do live monitoring and reporting of all asterisk based servers like FreePBX, Elastics, or maybe this asterisk on Rocky 9. To make it easier, I'll provide the link in the description. After it finishes, I will do what I always do. So make samples to create all sample files, 
then I will create a new directory in etc asterisk samples and move all those files into this newly created directory and once again make this time basic pbx to create some basic configuration. Now here comes a tricky part. In most cases executing make config creates some startup files uh, so that you can use systemctl to control your asterisk service. However, uh, although it shows no errors, systemctl start asterisk shows that this service cannot be loaded because it's not found. Then if we try systemctl enable asterisk once again, it shows, well, it, it should be working, but starting it, <laughs> it still doesn't work and asterisk console does not start. If you check the log, it shows uh, that some functions simply do not exist. Maybe you think, well, how about a reboot? Maybe after reboot, everything will work. So let's try this out. If we restart the session and log in as root, You'll notice that, yes, it still does not work. To resolve this issue, we will disable asterisk service, so it will not try to load it. And if you check our website, you'll find a nice tutorial, and by the way, we have a video about this, how to create custom systemd service for asterisk. So we will do just that. Before we do, if you want to make sure that this issue is not connected to some missing libraries, LDD uh, user has been asterisk will show that everything's loaded, so no issue here. Let's create this new service file. Uh, I will use nano to create uh, usr lib systemd system and asterisk.service. Inside, I will simply copy paste the code from my website. Of course, you can adjust it according to your needs. Now we will once again enable the service with systemctl enable asterisk service and start it. Now if we go to the console, you'll see that it starts nicely. Core show settings will show that everything works as expected and just to show you that it simply works. I will reboot the server. And after reboot, you'll see that the server is starting as it should. If we check the status of the service, you'll see that it's running, so everything's fine. So no, I, I don't encourage you to use makeconfig because it won't work on Rocky Linux. I encourage you to check our blog and uh, our other videos to see how to configure it properly on this operating system. If you are still here, you probably noticed that installing on Rocky 9 isn't that different from installing on CentOS 6, 7 or 8, with a slight difference uh, with make config command, of course. Also, next week I'll upload a video on installing the same asterisk 20 but on Ubuntu server. Uh, so if you want to switch to a different family like Ubuntu or Debian, Stay tuned and subscribe to our channel to see all those videos. Of course, if you think of an alternative or maybe you have a proposition of a completely different operating system, let me know in a comment section and we'll check that out. But that's it for today. Have an amazing day and see you in the next one.